Hello everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. In our yearly video, we have seen how to create project, how to create teams, area path. So all these we have covered. If you haven't watched them, I'll be providing the playlist you are in the video description. Please do watch. Now we have covered most of the items, whatever you are seeing over here in the screen under work item. Now we will proceed to boards. So this is called as Kanban boards. So let me select here and once you open up here, you could find various boards over here. If you couldn't find, just click on view boards directory. And, and here, if you just click on all team boards, it will show up here. So let me select this and you can switch it over here as well. You can just select testing team and it will directly go to testing team. And other than that, if you see here, you could find a drop down. Like if you just click on features, it will just list out what are the features under this particular team. So for every team one board will be created if you don't know how to create a team just watch my earlier video on it now and here if you see show team profile this icon just select this and here you could find the team members so what are the team members are here and if you just click on team setting it will navigate you to the team settings which we will see later and let me close this and now let me switch back to stories under dev team so here you could find various status right let me open one of the ticket so in the story if you see new active resolve closed and removed is there so here as well if you could find new active resolve and if you just click on this it will go here except removed everything is here so now if you see this particular user story is in active status you could move to resolve so once you drop over there it will automatically get changed and not only that you could just change from here as well and click somewhere outside it will simply move there so now and here you have an option to create new item just click on new item and you can create stories from here itself and click on add to top and just expand this and provide whatever the details you want to provide and save and close that's it and one more thing if you notice here the area path automatically it is showing up as this one because this particular boards is tied up with that particular area path which we have seen in our last video and similarly if you want to create features just switch to features and cl click on new items and now here you could find filters so here you can filter your work item let's say for example i want to see the user story which is having tags social so let me select this and click on social see one only this ticket is having that social tag so it is showing up here and similarly if you could explore other options as well if you want to clear just click on x mark which will clear out the filter as well i would like to highlight that tips and important points will be shared at the end of this video now let's explore what are the customization available so first of all just click on this here you could find features and stories only uh, what if if you want to show epic here so in that case just click on configure board setting and here you could see backlog navigation level just select epic and click on save and now you could see epics as well the other way is just directly go to project setting so i have already duplicated the tab project settings and then team configuration just navigate to the right team and here you could enable it so this is the other way of doing it and now just click on configure board setting and here you could find a option to provide the working days so how your team is working on whether they are working on sundays and they are taking on off on wednesday or they are working from monday to friday you can define it over here this will be used for capacity planning which we will see it later and now fields let me duplicate this tab let me switch to stories and here what and all you could find here you could find assigned right so assigned id tag so these are you could find right so id to whom it got assigned and what is the tag so all this information you could see it here right and additionally state as well meaning like what is the current state of this particular work item so it is currently in result so all this you could find here right so that is what you could uh, configure with this option you can add additional uh, 
field as well let's say for example you could say priority and save it and here you could find a priority showing up right so let's see what under customization is available under fields you could add up to 10 fields over here which will show up here and now let's see what are the other customization available just go to styles and here we can add styling so let me add a style let me provide a name to the rule i'm creating a rule and i'm setting a color for it and here you have a option to enable it or you can even del delete it and here based upon what so we need to define right so based upon assign a field if assign 2 is null then make it yellow so let me save it first see this ticket is unassigned so that is why it is showing up in yellow so let me go over here again styles you could add multiple styling as well and in case if you want to disable you can disable and one more thing is that if you see under title style you could find bold italics and underline and just selecting everything let's save and see what changes it is bringing to the title and you could see that the title is now in bold italics and underline and let me come back here let me undo it so before we proceed i like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so i request you to subscribe and as well as hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when i am uploading new videos super thanks is now enabled on our channel in case if you contribute it would be really helpful for me now let's go to tag colors so here we already know about tags right how we can add a tag so here just click on add a tag color and here it, it will list out what are the tag which we have already added just select one of it and which color you want to highlight it so i am going with pink and save and here you could find that particular tag is sh showing up in pink and now annotation so what and all you want to see over there meaning like here here you could find uh, task and then bugs as well right so here if you see these two are enabled so let me uncheck it let me save it and see those two went off and other options like test and all you can it will show that which we'll see later now let's save this and here you could find these values rise by five by five so what are this these are called as wip limit which we will see in our next video so here is the tips and important points kanban boards gets created only whenever you are creating a team if you are creating a project from the scratch a team will get created in the name of the project and automatically a board will get created in the name of the project as well next you can assign a work item to a single person only you cannot assign a work item to multiple user in case if you want to do so just create multiple work item and completed or closed work item don't get displayed in the backlog on boards after their change date or modified date is greater than 183 days which means half a year which mean let's say for example if i'm closing a work item today it will be visible in the boards for next 183 days after that it won't be showing up in case if you want to see it you can just use the query query is a separate option which we'll be seeing in a different video if you want to see in the backlog or boards just make some minor changes in the work item so that it will reset the clock and it will start showing up and that's it on this video we have lot of concepts to cover i request you to hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever i'm uploading new videos most importantly super thanks is now enabled on our channel if you wish to contribute i would really appreciate it follow me on linkedin to stay connected and i will be providing the url for whatsapp and telegram link in the video description please do join thank you bye bye